Stronghold is slightly better. I think we, I think we shoulder settings. Um, I would recommend watching. That pick and ban system for competitive. And I know like some people will be like, oh, well, like it just makes it just makes shit way less entertaining. Good system. Like like you you know what I'm saying? Like that's like now that's maybe more of a possible. But yeah, I think I think with the limited map. Oh, I think with the limited map pool that we have, I just don't see it being. Well, essentially. I don't know. I can't really like, you know, I don't know about these. I don't really follow, you know what I mean? Like I don't follow or know or I don't, I feel like with, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I think other than just OG. Cause I think I'll make it to again. <laughs> the drop. Um, the pulse. A really, really bad one though. Like I took like a day break and I started playing like really terrible. And uh, I just, I just tried a honeymoon. Like online, I just tried to honeymoon maybe some insight into like how I think. Cause like, that's why like when I came back from the event, I just went to 120 cause I was just trying to play. I, I also like the feel of, uh, so like before the event I was on 120 and then I would just before, like just before, like a week before I would go and drop down to 95 and you can't, you just can't say that yet. Like you have to like see, like we need to like play a lot of King of the Hill before we could say, before we can say, you know, King of the Hill greater than Strongholds, you know? Yeah, but do you still feel that way, Veggies? Even in this game, I feel like they, I feel like they fixed a lot of issues with the game. Yeah, that's a good question. That, or that's a good point, Mike, about nades. You think Slayer is boring? I think the large majority of Slayers are vastly random and extremely boring. I think, but I think that they do have the opportunity to create some really cool, really cool games. So unless you can get something that's better, I don't think that you can um, replace it. Yeah, our uh, people like roast our oddball gameplay a lot, which like don't get me wrong. I mean, I think I think objectively as a whole we need to be better, but our uh, our oddball is actually not awful. What's really bad is our strongholds. Like we're actually if we actually would improve our strongholds. We probably get top two last event. I think that's probably pretty fair. If our stronghold is slightly better, I think we I think we actually probably get top two. Maybe not, but maybe. What a blow average. Enemy has the ball. Uh, if you ask me, if you go to my YouTube channel, I have a whole new video about my controller settings. Um, I would recommend watching. Oh, guys, remind me, I gotta record a YouTube video after this. Okay, I completely fucking forgot to record something for Jake. I'm an idiot and didn't grab the ball. Should've like, th I should've like played the ball. Just don't expect someone to be standing still top tower. What do you mean by bans? Like picks and bans? Epson? Have a great day, everyone will be back. Yo, peace out, homie. Take care. Repulsor acquired. We have them all. I don't know if he means I don't know if he means picks and bands or like bands is in like like matchmaking bands. That's why I said like what kind of bands are you talking about? Oh bro, this went to shit. I heard that guy why was that guy top tower so loud? 
I don't personally like uh, pick picks and bans in map in uh, tournaments for Halo or even like Call of Duty. I know that that's kind of that's somewhat unpopular, but I really like put it this way, right? Like say there is like say there is like pick a uh, pick and ban system for competitive. And I know like some people will be like, oh, well, like that's a good thing. You know what I mean? Or like, good. I don't want to see that map. But it's like, bro, you would never see bizarre CTF ever. Like you will never, you will see one flag map every series. And like, to me, like I get it. Cause some people don't like it. But like, I think that if you actually look at that as a whole, it just makes, it just makes shit way less entertaining. The problem is our maps. You know, if we had, if we had fucking 13 amazing maps and game modes and like, Hey, fuck it. Like, right. Who cares? And it was the same problem in H5. We just don't have unbelievably playable maps and game modes, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Like it's I think I think if you're going to have like maybe with King of the Hill now, maybe you can do a veto system. Like like you know, you know what I'm saying? Like that's like now that's maybe more of a possibility. But But yeah, I think I think with the limited map oh I think with the limited map pool that we have, I just don't see it being possible essentially. Why did I just go I should have just stayed up there and see where he was going? Uh, it seems like a lot of HGS teams aren't po promoting their teams or posting. Optic is the only one I see posting about Halo Pros. Um, I don't know. I can't really like, you know, I don't know veggies. I don't really follow. You know what I mean? Like I don't follow or know or I don't, I feel like with, I don't, I don't. Yeah. I think that part of what you're seeing is also you have to remember like optic just came out with skins to where they're like promoting a shit ton at the moment no shade to optic like absolutely you know what i mean but i don't think it's like fair to compare like someone's social media to others i don't necessarily disagree with you i also don't necessarily see exactly what you're saying because i don't follow every org so like i feel like in halo it's pretty good for the most part but at the same time like for us it's pretty good but i mean like we're not streaming scrims we're being way more like afk like what are they going to post about you know i mean begin it might be me that's why we have a question mark but yeah i mean like if you're talking about like before raleigh i feel like everyone is posting but then like that's also a lot of promoting right now there's a lot of like Right now, there's a lot of like dead space, dead time in Halo to where like there just isn't a lot of promotion going on um, for anyone. And then, like I said, like if you're comparing Optic to now, like everyone now, Optic is promoting team skins and Optic's also just one of the biggest social media influencers that there is, you know? So I think it's just, it's just a little bit of a, it's just a little bit of a combination of both, I'd say, you know? Uh, no, we don't pump our own gas in Jersey Verb. Oh shit, are we actually... Is that actually happening though? Are they actually getting rid of gas dependence? I mean, I don't mind. I've been I've been to plenty of states. The only thing that... I guess is... Is it technically a bad thing? Because people will be losing their jobs? Or... I don't really know anything about that kind of stuff, guys. So apologies for being ignorant, ignorant about it. Nah, Pistol hasn't been picked up yet. I don't think Pistol will make it to a team until Kansas City. I think, I think, and I think Ola's doing the smart thing. I think Ola's gonna hold off until um, some roster changes happen. Other than just OG. Cause I think I'll make it to a good team. I just think that no one's making changes until after Kansas City. I'll take it, begin. I'll take it. <laughs> 30 seconds remaining. 
slightly bad play by me, I guess. Tell him to pump X with your card. Yeah, George. How does it feel? I mean, it feels good for when it's uh in the winter. Oh, <laughs> uh, we just lost. I just shouldn't have done that. That's so bad of me. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. All good though. Yeah, we lost. I I really wish there was a way to drop your equipment. Um I really, really, really wish there was a way to drop your equipment. Because like right there, like I have to like figure out a way. They're fighting so hard at Ovi, but I had repulsor. So I was like I don't know, it was like tragic, low key. Cause I'm trying to figure out like how I'm gonna drop how I'm gonna repulse plus put my head down. You know what I mean? Like I was, I don't know, I don't know if that makes sense. We should have been able to play the ball there. Did you play 120 FOV in scrims? Uh, I played 120 FOV for like one scrim, and then now I've been on 105. I only switched to 105 because I um I only switched to 105 because I was playing really really bad one day. Like I took like a day break and I started playing like really terrible, and uh I just I just tried a honeymoon like online. I just tried to honeymoon my settings like a lot. I'm not one of those players that like plays better by staying on just one thing the entire time. Like if I'm in a little bit of like a rut and I'm like playing kind of average, like I play better when I change stuff. And then when I get, when it gets to be like, when it gets to be like a week before the event or so, I try to really like dial it in. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, what in the world is that? We have the ball. Ball drop. Allied carrier down. We have the ball. Ball drop. Ball out of bounds. Ball incoming. I don't know how they got to top tower there, but whatever. Like part of the reason why I dropped my FOV, like a good, a good example of this, like just to give you guys some context and maybe some insight into like how I think is like, that's why like when I came back from the event, I just went to 120 because I was just trying to play for fun and like, just like, okay, I'm honeymooning on 120. 120 is also really fun. Like if I was just playing casually, I would just play 120 majority of the time. Um, but then like, I, I also like the feel of uh, 95, like at an event, because I feel like it's really hard to miss shots on 95. So like before the event, I was on 120 and then I would, um, just before, like just before, like a week before, I would go and drop down to 95 and then you feel like really zoomed in. And as long as you can get your movement down and feel like you're absolutely like still cracked, which I try to be, like try to be like still moving really fluently, um, then you can still move at a really good rate 
with your shot being like dialed in 120 like you you it's like a sacrifice right like 120 your shot can be really good but at longer ranges you feel like it could be a little bad or a little bit harder and then like 95 oh dude no way someone quits and ruins this game no way no way someone's ruined this that would have been like a 60 bomb Oh man. Well, GG's chat, GG's.